Here I have Urban Drawing by Phil Dane. Now you may know Phil as the Shoreditch Sketcher. He's one of the urban sketchers that I follow and I found out that he has two books available as part of the Sketch Club series. He also has Urban Watercolour which I'm going to look at in a future video. Now the aim of this book is to get you out into an urban environment and to start sketching. You don't need any prior knowledge you don't need any expensive equipment so all you need to get started with urban sketching is this book a sketchbook and a pen so let's have a look inside now this book was published in 2020 and it has 112 pages now we have on the contents introduction which covers equipment sketchbooks materials getting started and etiquette Chapter 1, Loosening Up, Getting Sketch Ready, Looking for Sketching Potential. Chapter 2, Building a Scene. We have Measuring, Composition, Perspective, Small Scale Sketching and Sweeping Scale. Chapter 3, Tone and Contrast. And Chapter 4, Taking It Further. This covers People, Creativity, Details and Colour. And chapter five, finishing touches. So we've got tips and tricks, when to stop and sharing your work. Now we start off here with an introduction and then we move into equipment, sketchbooks and different types of pen. Now you'll see most of the illustrations are black and white, but we do have a chapter on colour nearer the end. Getting started. The book is packed full of really helpful hints and tips for you. Things that you may not know um, if you've never been out sketching about etiquette, how to behave when you're sketching people, loosening up getting sketch ready so all the preparation that you need to work through before you go out is in this book there are lots of little exercises in each chapter so that you can practice your skills that you're learning from the book and build your confidence before you ever go outside I really like this chapter on building a scene. That is everything you need to know about your urban sketching. Things that you might not know if you've never drawn buildings before. So how to measure for scale, measuring lengths and angles. And everything is nice and easy to read. I like that you've got some really good size illustrations. You've got some step-by-step -step instructions here. Then we move on to composition more exercises to help you and perspective here which is explained in a really easy way lots of examples you've got your vanishing point here clearly marked for you one two point perspective and multiple point perspective and here's something else that's really helpful that I'm not sure that I've seen this in any other book, so maybe I've missed it, but here we have the terminology, which I think is a really useful thing to have. I must admit, I don't have many books on urban sketching, and the ones I do have are quite complicated for a beginner, so I think this is a really nice place to start here. I've read through this book a few times, and I do feel a lot more confident about drawing um, outside in the big world. So we move on to tone and contrast. And we have exercises here as well on tone and contrast. How to add some texture. Building your layers and taking it further. So we have here adding people. So obviously you're going to see people when you're out and about. And maybe you're not confident at drawing people either or how to capture them in your urban sketching. I love this section on creativity. It's important you read this section. Creative license examples. And I think you really need to do work, 
start at the beginning and work your way through how to use creative license exercise and details now I love details but sometimes it's difficult to know what to add and what to leave out and here we have when to add details and then we have the colour chapter so adding a little splash of colour how to use colour and the finishing touches now this is something I always like to see in an art book, tips and tricks that the artist themselves has learnt throughout the years. It can take you a long time to pick up different things and work things out. So it's always very generous of an artist when they share their tips and tricks with you. It saves you a lot of hard work and it just makes life so much easier. So we have a really nice section there on tips and tricks, lots of information in there for you. Then we have when to stop and share in your work. So I think this is a really lovely book to start off with. It is a lot easier and to understand than a lot of books. It's not overwhelming. It's not a massive big book that you've got to sit down and not know where to start with. And I think there's, everything is a good size in here. The print is a good size. The illustrations are a good size so you can instantly see what Phil is telling you. And everything is just very easy to follow. And Phil doesn't give you a set rules, but he does provide you with plenty of simple advice to guide you on your urban sketching journey. So I'd highly recommend if you're completely new to urban sketching, this is the book to start with. <laughs>